All right, so since I got my instance here and I am able to connect to it, I'm gonna just close this. I wanna see if I'm able to SSH into it now. And if you have seen my previous video at, uh, actually slash right here. If you have seen my this video, the failed attempts video, I just posted the uh, fix video as well. It will not be uploaded for maybe another uh, about four and a half year. Uh, sorry, four and a half hours. <clears throat> I made it uh, scheduled for midnight. Uh, right now it's about uh, seven thirty. I, if you have seen this video, you would know that uh, uh, we were running into problem. We were not, unable to connect to via. Uh, instance connect that is uh, this method connect we will uh, e instance connect we were unable to connect uh, from here into the browser that the screen that you saw at the very first few seconds of this video and neither we were unable to, we were able to connect via SSH now I'm gonna see if I'm able to SSH into my uh, machine now it really want me to connect via this i don't know i'm gonna just try <clears throat> let's see ssh and yes so this is the uh pop-ups uh, I, I was talking in this video that you get it right away instantly that you all you have to do is click connect and it will it's asking you how do you want to connect to what's the username and at work we just provided a username oh sh shouldn't have done that anyway so so now we're stuck with this okay so <clears throat> the username for all the um ec2 underscore user that's what's missing here the username is normally ec2 underscore user and there you go you can see that uh, that's the uh, username part at this address so interestingly this address is the if we can go back to my instance is the private IP address it's not the public IP address I'm gonna try to connect through the uh, public IP address and see if it it lets me log in or not um, so I'm gonna close this uh, session I'm gonna start a brand new session and I'm gonna copy this address so normally what you do is EC2 user at and then <clears throat> in ssh field you have to get your private key right away i get this uh, uh security alert dialog box pop up whatever you want to call you see how instantly it is and if i do that i'm already connected this time i don't have to enter my username because I already entered that username into that field where I pasted my IP address so even though imagine uh, look at the uh, uh, note this that even though I use this public IP address if I go to putty it automatically translated into my private IP address and connected me using that username so that's why you know when I was making this video going back and forth I knew how it's supposed to be and it wasn't so um, my main thinking right at the moment is maybe I have the exact same modem that I talked about that somebody else had it and he was unable to connect so I was started I was I had started to think about that maybe it's the mode uh, it's the uh, modem uh, that's uh, doing it but I'm glad I found the fix SH is work SSH is working I'm gonna close this video uh, wrap this video here and uh, uh, in the next video it's a very interesting we're gonna use the CLI this interface to see how we interact uh, with the um, our AWS and there is another very uh, cool thing is this one 
let's close this this it's the cloud shell so same exact same thing you can actually use the command line to interact with your AWS so that's for uh, cloud shell is going to be for another day but the next video is going to be CLI access to our EC2 um, I'm gonna wrap this video if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one